So in this video, we're going to introduce the fixed point iteration method. Now, first of all, before we get to the method, we have to understand where does it come from. So it comes from fixed point, uh, fixed point theory from algebra. Uh, now, fixed point theory suggests that there are some interesting uh, situations where any so any function g of x uh, may have a particular property where x actually is equal to g of x, which means, if you think about it, that means that the input to a function is equal to exactly the output of the function. So these are uh, such points, such points x, okay, where x is equal to gx are called fixed points. So that's the first thing you have to understand. That's where the term fixed point, uh, this here in the name, fixed point, that's where it comes from. So this is an algebraic uh, idea. Now, how, we can, how can we use this, in fact, to um, set up an iteration method is very simple, actually. Uh, if you look at this x equals gx, first of all, let us relate this to um, root finding, and then we'll look at how we can set up an iteration throughout, through this. Now, what you have to keep in mind is that um, for our target problem, which is fx equals 0, in this situation, if um, if for any root p, f of p is equal to zero by definition, if p is a root, if p is a zero or uh, a root, this means now that this setup, if we were to set up uh, this, which is set up gx as x minus f of x, okay, then at p what's happening? g of p is equal to p minus fp, which means g of p is equal to p, which is in fact the fixed point problem. So this means that if, uh, it simply means that if we can in fact, uh, sorry, uh, if we can in fact solve the fixed point problem gx equals x minus fx, it is the same as solving, that value of x will be the same as a solution of fx equals zero. Now, here's the, here's the um, iteration part. We haven't talked about that yet. Um, the fixed point iteration method basically says that, look, once you have your gx, all you have to do is say x i plus one equals g x i with some x zero initial guess. So therefore, we can easily now uh, look at this xi plus one equals g of xi, which is an iterative process, and start to generate uh, iterations from it. And if it converges to a solution, that solution happens to be, um, can easily be uh, used to calculate um, the root of an equation. So that, in a, in a nutshell, is uh, the fixed point iteration method. So generally, let's talk about what does this practically mean. So let's look at an example, x squared minus x minus 1 equals 0. Now, if we want to solve this problem, we already know that uh, x, uh, we can find the roots of this equation. It's got two real roots, and they are, in fact, square root of 5 over 2, uh, which means the roots are... So the roots are 1.618 and minus uh, 0.618. Now, uh, let's see how we can set up a, a fixed point iteration to solve this uh, problem. So uh, basically what you can do is there are many options that we have. Uh, so for instance, what you can do is this is an algebraic equation. We can play with it. We can say, for instance, x squared is equal to x plus 1 which means x is equal to divide across, so it's going to be x plus 1 over x, one of the x's, uh, which basically means this is 1 plus 1 over x. Now we can easily say, set up the iterative process to be xi plus 1 plus 1 over xi, and that is an iterative process which we can actually run through and actually get a solution. Now, um, you can start with any initial guess, for instance, x0 equals 1, for the sake of argument, and then generate some uh, values. We can do that very quickly here. For instance, 
x1 would be 1 plus 1, so it's equal to 2. x2 would be 1 plus uh, 1 over 2, so it's 1.5. And similarly, x3 will be 1 plus 1 over 1.5. 1 over 1.5, which is equal to um, is 1.666 recurring. Okay, and this way, when we as we continue, it will actually converge to the solution. As you can see, it's already getting close. 1.618 is the root, and uh, uh, it will, in fact, uh, converge quite quickly uh, to this root. Interesting to note is that that's the only root it will converge to. In order to find the other root, you will have to set up another, in fact, uh, uh, fixed point iteration. A different iteration will work for that. And I'll show you, for instance, what what can work and what doesn't work, for instance. From the same equation, you could easily say uh, x, rearrange the equation such that x is equal to um, x squared minus 1. That also comes from the same equation. Now, in this particular instance, uh, if I were to say xi plus 1, is equal to xi squared minus 1, there's my iterative process. Now, if I try to get some uh, with, say, x0 equals 1 for the sake of argument, again, the same seed, x1 is equal to 0, and clearly then x2 is equal to minus 1, x3 um, is equal to 0, and it'll keep fluctuating between uh, minus 1 and 0, and it'll never converge. And in fact, this particular uh, iteration will not converge, no matter what seed you start with. If you think it's the initial guess, in fact, in this case, it uh, doesn't work out. Um, let's so look at one uh, one more uh, fixed point iteration for the same for the same problem. If we were to rearrange the equation as x and two x minus one equals one, then that's the same as x equals one over x minus one. And here we have another iterative process, which is 1 over xi minus 1. Again, if we start, we have to be careful. Um, we can't start with an x0 of 1 because it will blow up this function. So, for instance, we can use x0 uh, equals, for the sake of argument, 0. Uh, wait. So, let's say x0 equals 0, and that will give us x1 is minus 1 x2 is minus 1 over 2, and x3, okay, is going to be minus 0.6 recurring, x4 is minus 0.6, in fact, and x5, x5 will be negative 0.625, and so on till it gets to this root minus 0.618. So here you've got two of these that seem to work and they give us the two roots um, uh, using the fixed point iteration. Clearly you can see some issues here in this method. Seems very hodgepodge and not a very systematic way because one of the key things is how do you set up that uh, iterative process. Also, uh, this gives rise to a question which is um, how do we know which iterative process will actually work? Is it necessary to try the iterative process and lead to divergence or possible convergence? Or can we pre-test a particular iterative method or particular set of iterations uh, that they will converge or not? And that's uh, basically where we use the fixed point theorem, which we will do in the next video. Thank you.